Hello and welcome to the date manipulation Excel tip. So what we're going to do for this Excel tip is we are going to manipulate our date from our um, TMY data file. And so really what we want to do is we want to tease out some, some patterns in this data in the next video. And to do that we're going to need to know the month which is obviously in here and we can just read it off but we want to Excel to be able to read that. We also may want to know the day of the week. So there's a bunch of different ways that we can work with dates in Excel. And what I like to do is go to the Formulas tab and look at the date and time list. So you can see there's lots of different things we can do here. So these, the, a lot of these formulas are really important to know. I'm just going to go over two of them, but they, then, then you can generalize to lots of different things. So we're going to go to month. So what month does is it returns the month, which is a number from 1 to 12, and, and then we can do that. So we do that, and then we're going to want the month of this, of this uh, bad boy. So actually what I want to do is I want to show you a, a common error that happens. So let's go ahead and just delete those cells, and let's insert, and let's try the month again. So month 1 to 12. And so then we're going to go ahead and insert eight and, date and time and go to month, and go to the serial number and hit OK. So this is hap this happens a lot. Since we're um, using, since we just inserted the cell next to a date column, it thinks this cell is a date, but this cell actually should just be a number. So we need to go change this to, from the home tab and go from date to number. And you can see then one is the correct number. And then we double click again, and it goes all the way down. And as we you know scroll through, we can see the months change, and it matches the month in the left hand column. Perfect. So now let's go and, and do um, weekday, so, or day of week is probably the easiest thing. So basically I want to know whether this is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And how I do that is, again, I'm going to go to formulas and go to date and time, and it's going to go to weekday. Um, so we go ahead and select that. So the first day is a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Sunday is number one, so the first day is a Tuesday. And we go ahead and double click, and all the way down, we can see that it goes up, goes to seven, and then goes back to one. Right, so now we know, now we have sort of the day of the week, where one is a Sunday, and two is a Monday, and so on. So we could do a bunch of these other date and time ones. Year would be something we could do. Um, you know, we could do all sorts of things. Hour from the hours and minutes. Um, you know, day of the month is, is this one. I'm not going to go through all of them because they work pretty much the same way. But that's the way we can work with dates in Excel. The other thing that when you're inputting a date in Excel, sometimes you can type it out like this. But also you can use, if we sort of insert manual, so if I want to insert like a manual date here, I can go into date and I can just type in the year, month, and day. This way I make sure that Excel knows this is a date and not a number or something else when I type it in. So it's a good way. So maybe I want to do today, which is the 9th of October, 2014. And then you can see, then then what's nice about it is that Excel knows it's a date, so it'll display it as a date. But I could also display it as a longer date and whatnot, too. So... There you have it. That's some date manipulation in Excel. Thank you for watching.